about the students? How have you noticed about the students? They're happy. They're really happy. They love their building. They love being in there. They like the freedom of movement. Um, they are, I think they have ownership of it. They, they really are proud that this is where they come to every day. They, um, they're very comfortable with each other. You see them you know, grabbing their laptop and going off in a corner or sitting together in a group of kids, pulling chairs from all different places or stools or balls or whatever they want to sit on at the moment. And they're engaged. They're really engaged. And they're actually more engaged when it's a formal class. What's the greater difference in boys than girls? They're calmer. We don't have as many discipline issues. We definitely don't. We definitely don't have as many discipline issues. But I haven't thought of it, so I'm not sure. But I know the discipline, you know, the, the misbehavior in class and stuff like that significantly. Yes. So, like me, the boys are in the box and they want to get in. Yes. Right, so, let them out. Yes. Uh, when they came in, they all had, I had a gift on everybody's desk. I think the rest of the school was a little jealous. <laughs> you know, I really was catering to making them feel that they had a new home. And then we also spent a lot of time discussing how they would use the building, how it was shared space. My ideal would have been that those rooms could be interchanged in a second. But you pick your battles because you know your people. And, um, and it is a, again, it, it, it's a continuous learning process. I think that, uh, and I think for Akash, so it, way at the beginning, but it, the mindset that I love about, thank you, the design and everything, and the openness and the autonomy that students have. Um, you know, we send our students out to these spaces now. It used to be the old school, you know, here's a hall pass, and you have to be back, and this, right? And, and, the, and the idea was that, you know, 95, 98% of students can be trusted with autonomy. 98%? Why would you punish or, you know, uh, imprison those 98% of the students for the 2% who might need to be checked on? You know, you, you figure out who they are through trial and error and let the rest thrive in an open environment. And, and, uh, and they do, they thrive. So I, just that mentality that the students are can be trusted, that the vast majority of students, vast, vast majority of students can be trusted. It's not an um, adversarial relationship, you know? We're not trying to keep them grounded up or under our thumb. Here, here's, here's some resources, kids. We trust you with them. And almost all of them will live up to that expectation. Last year, one of the newer kids that came into our class, Christy, she could not believe that you did not need a hall pass to go, I don't know if she was going to the library or what, she was just, what? They trust us? And I, I witnessed the whole thing, I said, yeah, you know? And you could just see her thinking, wow, this is really neat, but, you know, she did great. Different, you have a different modality, a, you know, different way of learning, and it's not, and you don't, you don't seem to fit. But I think the way we we are trying to do things is to make it more, you know, most comfortable for for all of the children. The perfect examples. Okay, mine, mine are over there. They, they before it was like, come on, Dad or Mom, let's go. We gotta, we, we gotta leave right yeah. now. Now they don't mind playing and chilling and staying on the playground and using the spaces they don't mind at all. He just sat there and did his homework, which blew my mind. He would have never done that in an old environment on a, you know, just a wooden chair, so. Uh, they're like, well, I don't want to lose my space. What, what, where's my room? Okay, where did my desk go? Um, and so there's resistance initially for sure, but I think now in this building, you know, this sort of fishbowl of a, of a location, uh, I think works well coming in this building and working and talking to the teachers on a daily basis for me uh, it is good because to talk to the teachers over there, i got to go into individual rooms and bounce ideas off them. Whereas in here, I can, I can ask people who are available at any given point. Um, and so I think it, it works very well uh, to have your teacher space together versus everybody spread to their own room and this is mine and this is this is yours. To share things really uh, allows 
not only the kids to see the collaborative spirit of the teachers, but to, to model it as well. So you're saying that there is a difference in the collaborative atmosphere in this building? That, that for sure, building. for sure. And it's obvious. Yeah.